guys, so today I am going to be showing you how I fill in my eyebrows. This is like the most requested video that I have from all of you in the comments and all that good stuff. I'm sorry to disappoint you because it's probably going to be a little anticlimactic. I really don't do a whole lot. I have quite full eyebrows to begin with, but I use three products to fill in my brows. First being the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I now have the shade Taupe. It's a little bit lighter because y'all were telling me that my eyebrows were too dark and I was like, okay, I'll try the lighter one. And I actually like it a lot. I also use the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, best brow gel I've ever used. And then I also use this little buffing brush from Still Cosmetics. I bought this at Walmart for like $5, something like that. So let's just get into it. The first thing I do is take the spoolie side of my brow is and I just brush my brows down like that. This just allows me to create the accurate shape that I want because my eyebrows kind of dip down and I really like them when they are straight. So what I do is I draw a straight line to begin with, kind of just following the sparseness of my eyebrows but also staying along with the growth of my hairs. Like I'm not drawing a line all the way up here, you know what I'm saying? So I just kind of drew that line and then I just fill it in, making little flicking motions like that. Then I'll brush my brow up and see how it just created like a way nicer, thicker, more, I don't know, just a nicer line. Then I kind of do the same thing on the bottom. I've got a little bald spot right here. I kind of fill that in and then I follow it along to the tail of the brow. Just filling in that little gap there. I definitely like a more full look to my eyebrow. And then what I'll do is go to the tip of my brow and draw a line across where it's more sparse here because I want that inner part of the brow to be more full. And I'll just make little flicking motions into the brow. So in the inner corner right here, I've pretty much just drawn two straight lines and created a square on the edge of my eyebrow. So to make it look a little bit more natural, I'll go in with this fluffy little brush and just like fluff it on the ends of it to make it look more faded and more natural. A lot of people use two different colors of product on their eyebrows to do kind of the same thing and I used to do that as well actually. But I just found that taking this little brush and fluffing it around does the same thing. Sometimes I'll go in and touch it up a little bit just because I'll buff away a lot more product than I intend to, but that way it just gives it that nice faded look. So then I'll just do the same thing to the other brow, draw my straight line. Then once I've finished filling in my eyebrows and fiddling around with it, I'll go in with my clear brow gel and just set those. I kind of like to make my hairs sit up a little bit more. Some people will like drag the hairs across and make it more thin, but I like my eyebrows to have more of a thick look. So I just brush the hairs up. And I feel like with this clear brow gel, the more gel that you add onto the brows, the more of that feathery look it gives because that's all on trend and all that good stuff. And then it'll dry, and that is all that I do to fill in my brows. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial kind of showing type of video. I hope that for some of you, the mystery of my brows is no longer a mystery. <laughs> Honestly, the easiest process in the world and definitely easy to duplicate. Brow is an awesome and easy product to work with. I absolutely love it, and I've been using it for so long now, and I don't know if I will ever change. But uh, until then, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!